In this video, we will determine the exact tax on a sale item and then round the tax to the nearest dollar as well as the nearest cent. Javier buys an item for $614.99. What is the exact tax if the tax rate is 8.2%? Then round the tax to the nearest dollar and the nearest cent. The exact tax is 8.2% of $614.99. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. So let's first convert 8.2% to a decimal. To convert a percent to a decimal, we drop the percent sign and divide by 100, or drop the percent sign and move the decimal two places to the left. Notice if we move the decimal two places to the left, one, two, we have a missing digit. We fill in the missing digit with a zero, which gives us 0 0.082, However, we often place a zero in the ones place value and get the decimal as 0 0.082. 0 0.082 is the decimal form of 8.2%. And now to find 8.2% of the sale item, we multiply 0 0.082 and $614.99. Going to the calculator, the exact tax is $50.42918. Next, we're asked to round the tax to the nearest dollar. Notice how the exact tax is between $50 and $51. By rounding to the nearest dollar, we're determining whether the exact tax is closer to $50 or $51. Following the formal rules, we begin by identifying the digit in the dollar place value, or the ones place value, which is the zero. And the digit to the right indicates whether we round up or down. If the digit is a four or less, we round down. If it's five or more, we round up. Because we have a four here, we round down to $50. Notice when rounding down, the digit in the rounding place value does not change. If you look at this on the number line, Again, the exact tax is between $50 and $51. Right in the middle, we would have $50.50. We'll notice how the exact tax is less than $50.50, let's say approximately here. And this is why we round down to $50. The only thing we have to remember is when the amount is right in the middle, we would always round up. So if the exact tax was $50.50, we would round up to $51. And now for the last question, we're asked to round to the nearest cent. We begin by identifying the digit in the cent place value, or the hundredths place value, which is the two. The digit to the right, the nine, indicates whether we round up or down. Because it's a nine, we round up, which means we increase the two to a three, and the amount rounds to $50.43 to the nearest cent. What we're doing here is really trying to determine whether the exact tax is closer to $50.42 or $50.43. Going back to the number line one last time, on the left we'd have $50.42, on the right we'd have $50.43 to the nearest cent. Right in the middle we would have fifty point four two five dollars. But we can quickly see that the exact tax of fifty point four two nine one eight is very close to fifty dollars and forty three cents, maybe approximately here. Which is the reason why the exact tax to the nearest cent rounds up to fifty dollars and forty three cents. I hope you found this helpful.